did I, why did I want to intern at the chop shop? Uh, it's a chop shop, man. Time to make the decibels. Rick Veers is the owner of the chop shop. Rick Veers is the author of the sound effects bible. Uh, Rick Veers is probably the coolest person I know. He's also very terrifying. He loves to scare me yeah! more than any of the other interns. Right behind the folding door is a great place to hide. In a word, he is a taskmaster. Hang on, well, uh, wait for action. Ruthless. I don't have all day for mic checks, dude. Let's go. And impressive. I've learned a lot about recording and just like using the equipment that he has. Learned a lot about like different techniques for getting different sounds. Last Friday we went to a church in Detroit Court Town. So we're in a church and apparently uh, when they built this church back in the 1800s, it was a big thing to have your own bowling alley in the basement of the church. So we're going to get some really cool sounds of bowling balls rolling back and forth. There's a really cool uh, kind of rumbling, rolling kind of sound that we're going to get. So let's go. So me and Rick were down there rolling balls down the lanes and down the gutters. And, you know, while we were down in the bowling alley, we had to turn off all the lights. I don't know, I think Rick was scared because it's an old building. Found a couple lamps just to put up so we had a little light. But we found a bunch of old uh, different adding machines and typewriters, so we gathered those up and we started to record them. We went to the bathrooms. All right, I want you to go to the car and start drinking water. We got different faucets. For the record, the water was brown. <laughs> While we were there, we went up into the bell tower in the church. A lot of the wood and a lot of the stuff was original. Pretty sure it was made in like the 1800s and no one had ever replaced or done anything to it. I wasn't scared at all, but I think everyone else was. It was pretty scary, to be perfectly honest. Mr. Dan's gonna walk up some stairs, mainly because um, I'm too chicken to go up these stairs. <laughs> we got to go up in the bell tower and ring the bells. We got to play the gigantic pipe organ. He doodled around and played some, uh, some cool licks. It went really well. The organ sounded great, actually. Today, we uh, did a bunch of car stuff. We got a whole bunch of stuff today. We did uh, cars driving by, you know, all different speeds. We did, like, revving of the engines. Did, like, door closes in the trunk made the tires squeal. Then after that we did some skateboard stuff going back and forth. Uh, uh, this week in the studio we broke a lot of stuff. Got a whole bunch of smashes we were taking. We were taking a TV and just beating it until there was nothing left. Oh, we took uh, you know aquariums, cinder blocks, just anything you can imagine and we were just smashing it. We were just on a, on a rampage yesterday, it was crazy. I've already learned a lot. Well, I've learned uh, so far just uh, how to actually record different mics and how to set everything up in the Foley room. It's a lot of fun and it's been a great learning experience so far and it will continue to be a great learning experience. Oh, Ricky don't like heights. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>